my wonderful people this very video try and make you watch them to the end may a doche lega team release some kind of bonge gist when it comes to the area of yule doche and the area of ned Hoko. as a matter of fact may a doche lega team tell us the reasons one of the reasons yule edoche last year and last two years was looking for ways to get close to me even me where they give on this news i do not know this is a eye opener you'll edoche not be better personal my people just the same way we may they get advice from our legal team. Now, so you, Edochi, they collect advice from people. This man don't already mastermind the habits. Say, he go subdue me, Edochi. If not because of God and the wisdom of me, Edochi, you, Edochi, go for do me, Edochi, shake Hey, when I go say her, don't worry. I go show you some kind things, and you will understand some kind things. Wait, be say may a doche legacy make me and you know this life no balance. So hey, person go job marry, no go no say he marry he enemy. One of the greatest thing in this life is to marry your friend. If you can't go marry your enemy, you know good. You will edoche normally before now. They seen a very good person. But in the long run, the man allow pride and greed. Both say the man no get self-control. Now one of the things will be say he put you edoche from here in day to day. As a matter of fact, my people. Una go see some kind things. Maybe say, eh? It go make many of una surprised. Say, so this woman feel do this kind thing. This man feel do this kind thing, I mean. And when I was still asking myself, say, so may a doche feel do this kind thing. Which means this woman is a great woman. My people. Hmm. Before we go continue with this gist, I go like make a welcome now first. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Patience Blogs. My wonderful and amazing people. I welcome now. In case you've not subscribed to Patience Blogs Official on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notification in order to be notified anytime I drop a new one. I want to say a very big thank you to my old, new, and returning subscribers. I appreciate you now so much for your immense support to my members. May God bless and replenish your pockets. Please, if you have not hit the likes, hit the likes and also help me share this video because. So many women go learn a lot from this very video. Now, make we enter matter. So now, my people, let me read what May Edoche Lega team talked about. He said, looking back at the story of Yul Edoche and the failed experiments with polygamy, to understand this post, you need to know two terms, the factor and the jury. The factor means, in fact, while the jury means in law. When something exists in accordance with the way the law wants it to exist, we say that such a thing exists the jury. But when something exists but not in accordance with the way the law wants it to exist, we say that such a thing exists the jury. But when something exists, but not in accordance with the way the law wants it to exist, we say it exists the factor, but not the jury. Things are supposed to exist both in fact and in law. The factor and the jury. Using a marriage as example, a marriage exists in fact, 
which is de facto because there are two people man and woman who do same things that married couple do such as a they live together b they, they plan together as one for their household c they have kerewa intimacies as a couple these are elements that create a marriage de facto but also marriage is a creature of law it is the law that recognizes a union of man and woman as marriage to separate it from a union that is boyfriend and girlfriend but the law to recognize a union of man and woman as marriage the man and woman must meet the requirements of the law for a union to be recognized as marriage when they meet those inquiries and their union is, is so recognized we say that there is a marriage the jury marriage in law bracket for a marriage to exist it must exist both in law and in fact also for a polygamy to exist it must exist both de facto and de jure but what happens when it exists de facto but not de jure or it exists de jure but not de facto living with a woman and calling her your wife when the law does not recognize your union as a marriage like yule and judy it is called a marriage de facto but not a marriage de jure also when you are married to someone in law but are not living like husband and wife as it is now the case of yule and me yule will have a marriage de jure but not a marriage de facto note that the jury is always more powerful than de facto the difference between you ledoches polygamy and ned wonko's polygamy is that for ned wonko his polygamy exists both in fact and in law de facto and de jure whilst you ledoches polygamy neither exist in law nor in fact because ned wonko married under the law of custom of his people he could marry more than one wife he actually married more than one wife and all the women accepted him as their husband that means that ned wonko meets the factor and the jury requirements of polygamy polygamy must involve at least three people a man and at least two women who accept the man as their husband and live with him as such such a polygamy which has established the facto will also be established the jury if it is in accordance with the law on the other hand because yul edoche married may under the marriage act the law prohibited him from having polygamy so you could not have a polygamy in the jury he cannot have a lawful polygamy so polygamy the jury does not exist for you ledoche but what about polygamy in the facto was there ever a time when two women accepted you as their husband or were willing to live with him as such never so yul edoche failed to achieve polygamy de facto polygamy in fact also soon as he announced that he was a proud polygamy you learned that he could not have a polygamy de jure the law did not allow him to have a polygamy when you realized this he felt it was okay if he could have polygamy in fact the the factor polygamy he could have had a de facto polygamy if the two women were willing to be his wife and accept him as their husband use plans 
for a de facto polygamy was spoiled when May refused to be part of it. When I say that May refused to be part of Yule's de facto polygamy, I mean that May refused to have any Kerewa intimacy with Yule anymore. From the moment that May learned that Yule had a child with Judy, she refused any Kerewa intimacy with Yule. When I say Kerewa, you guys understand Kerewa now. I can't say it. She never allowed him to touch her again. May's decision in this regard was remarkable in many ways. First, it immediately frustrated a de facto polygamy from happening. It meant that you never had a moment with two women knowingly accepted to be with him as their husband. That buys Yul's dream of polygamy. He never had polygamy, in fact, and he could not have it in law. Secondly, by refusing to allow Yul to touch her again, he avoided a situation where condonation would have set in. Condonation occurs when you forgive your spouse of his or her wrongdoings. Once you forgive a wrongdoing, it is taken that you have forgiven. And once you have forgiven, you cannot use such wrongdoing as ground for divorce. Yul has thought that May would at least allow him to be with her like a man and a woman whilst they would be trying to discuss the issue of Judy. But May was clear and firm and disciplined in her behaviors. She refused to let you touch her again. So there was never any condonation. She was able to use Yul's adulterous relationship with Judy as a ground for her petition for divorce. You have to understand how intelligent and wise May's actions has been. Very brilliant. When all this started, it was not clear how it would end. May was in a vulnerable position. It was like her world was collapsing under her feet. She was shattered and it was all in public domain. But being an intelligent lady and well advised, she heard to her discipline and values and adamantly re refused to allow you to touch her again. On the other hand, Yul was desperately to be with her intimately because in his mind, he really wanted to achieve, even if it was for a brief moment, a de facto polygamy. Can you imagine? <laughs> he wanted to have a moment when he would have slept with two women concurrently and called them his wife. But May took the position that there can never be two of us. Once you have decided to be with her, you cannot be with me. This shattered Yul's ego. He could not believe that his polygamy would end up a pimp dream. In so far as he could not have a legal polygamy, he never had a polygamy in the jury. And in so far as May never agreed to be part of it, he could not have a de facto polygamy. What makes May a very unique person is not really the issue of polygamy or no polygamy. She knows that polygamy exists in Nigeria and that she has no problem with people in polygamous family. Rather, what matters to her was that she has personal principles and values. She and Yul agreed to be in a monogamous marriage and nobody has the right to force her into something she did not believe in. Polygamy is not for her. This is where May remains a shiny example for all our young women. You cannot, because of fear or public opinion, start a lifestyle that you do not believe in. May took the 
position that polygamy is not for me and I will not be forced into it. Her ability to maintain the position and her the respect of all people who know her story. As a matter of fact, you cannot see the difference between you and me. And I believe so many women would have fell for this very used plants. You already knew that he needed uh, polygamy de facto, as in polygamy in law, to establish his power, you know, to prove that, yes, if May has forgiven, for instance, have something to do with him, which means you can use that as a position against May in court. But May, ever since you announced Judy, she stopped having anything to do with you. So you was always looking for a way to do that thing, carry away with me. But me was smart and wise enough not to allow you come close to her. You was looking for a way to get close and then establish the type of marriage of Ned Woko by having something to do with me. I mean, carry away me. So when doing that, you can prove to the court that, ah, she has forgiven, you no. Know, we even did Kerewa. So May would not would have been able to petition Yul in the area of a uh, divorce. And they would have there wouldn't have been a ground for May to file for a divorce. So you see, so many women will even fall for this. And believe me, they wouldn't be able to step out of that marriage. They will have to accept it because they open their bekus for the man. Because the man will trickily come, like just like what Yul was trying to do. So now, Yul doesn't have polygamy in fact and polygamy in law. So that means Yul committed adultery and may petition stands. You see? So guys, drop your opinions, patience blogs, like and share if you enjoy and understand what this video is all about. So be careful out there as a woman. I hope you learn from this May's intelligence coming from May Duchess legal team. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Patience Blows. Catch you guys in my next video. Bye.